the poor innocent channel and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Well, this week I've had four auditions. One is for the Royal Shakespeare Company, actually. I did my Cassius speech. It went extremely well, but you never know what the result is until you actually get the job. So I can only say, keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> my second one was for a musical. I sang the Rhinestone Cowboy number from Glen Campbell for the second one. Met up with somebody, funny enough, that I'd actually met previously on a different audition to the one I was at on that day. So it was quite an eventful day. Enjoyed it immensely. I had an audition for a TV commercial. Fun. We shall see. And the final one was on Friday. And that came up out of the blue. It was very enjoyable. That was a straightforward stage audition. Modern stage. Went very, very well. We'll find out how we got on in due course, I'd imagine. It was a good week. I didn't think I'd be able to get near my laptop this week because I've been a bit busy running around. So I put a video together previous to this one to put up on the Paul Innocent channel, funny enough. It was a montage of things plus a couple of pieces of my work. One being something which is coming up soon and another one which is out a few years back. I hope you enjoyed it. But uh, this is the real uh, Paul Innocent channel video for this week. Somebody wrote to me with a question and said to me, as an actor, how have I found it in terms of sustaining my goal, my interest, sustaining my profession, when sometimes work is few and far between? Aha! Well, this is a question that uh, only the individual can actually attain to. Um, now, personally, for me, what happens is I work and I think, well, I don't mind working hard, but I'm hoping that my toe still in the profession will keep me moving. And I don't take that toe out of the profession. Hence, I work to live, not live to work. Only 40 hours a week, no more, no less. I've got to have money coming in, but at the same time, I must have my life so I can maintain the true protagonist of why I'm actually on earth. Hence, being an actor. But uh, there you are. That's me personally. And I've done that for many, many years, since I was 24. When I left Weber Douglas Academy of Dramatic Art, I've been doing this since then, and I'm still doing it. Uh, I won't tell you how old I am. I was born in 1961. Work it out for yourselves. <laughs> so for me, that's how it works. Anyway, that's it for this week's episode of The Paul Innocent Channel. And what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Bye-bye.